ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. How's everyone doing today? I hope all is well. Um, I hope that if you guys haven't gotten a chance to subscribe to the channel, that you guys will now, if you guys are watching this on YouTube. So hit the subscribe button below before I get started. And also, if you guys are watching this on Facebook, uh, please share and like. Um, let's get right into it. Let's dive into this Deshaun Watson uh, topic. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, this story has been lingering on for months. And we finally uh, know how many games he's going to be suspended. He's going to be suspended for six games. It's a light punishment. It's not as harsh as I thought it would be. Um, you know, apparently the judge who was overseeing this case um, didn't feel that he warranted, uh, you know, a severe suspension. I disagree with it. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys disagree with it. Because when you see the... When you see the severity of it and you hear the allegations, this just seems like it's a slap on the wrist. Um, and it's a slap in the fa face to the women involved, right? The women who, you know, filed these civil lawsuits against Deshaun Watson, alleging that he you know, sexually assaulted them are enraged today. They're, you know, not too pleased to hear the news. And, I mean, I, I'm sorry if I piss you guys off, but, I mean, I, I, I can't Support Deshaun Watson. And I know a lot of you guys out there have jumped to his defense. You know, but by jumping to his defense, you guys are condoning his behavior. You know, it's not a good look at all. You know, think for a second. What if this was your daughter? Who was a victim? What if this was somebody, you know, and I think we all know someone who has been sexually assaulted. You know, what if this was someone close to you? How would you process this and how would you take it? You would be angry. You would be very angry and, and you might feel a certain way about Deshaun Watson. But through this whole process, Deshaun Watson has been very brash. He has ve he has been very defiant. He used his mother and his auntie and his sister as a shield. He came out and said that his that his family didn't raise him like that. But it was all about him getting what he wanted. And he treated these massage therapists, these female massage therapists, as sex objects. It's that simple. You know, he hired them for his sexual pleasure. Why in the hell would you have 66 massage therapists? Why do you even need that many massage therapists? You don't possibly need that many people. You, you don't. You don't need that much treatment. Now, come on now. So there's the red flag right there. But you guys can ignore it all you want. You guys can, you know, um, defend him all you want. You know, and I understand that he hasn't been criminally charged. I understand that the NFL doesn't want to play judge, prosecutor, and, and, ju and jury. I get, I get it. But it might be a good time for the NFL to actually put its foot down. 
because he was only suspended six games. That's a light punishment. And, I mean, I don't know how you get suspended only six games for this. You know, NFL's disciplinarian officer, Sue L. Robinson, a, a former federal judge, so she has a lot of experience doing this, or Monday handed down a punishment on the low side of what Team Watson would, um, of what Team Watson would have agreed to. You know, and the NFL accused Watson on going into these sessions with a, with sec, with a sexual intent, bringing towels uh, with him. And touching women with his penis and e ejaculating. You know, masturbating on these women. You know, so he violated these women. Let's get that straight. Okay? And now all these women are making up th these stories. And it's not lies. I don't know if you guys read the New York Times report, but it was very thorough. It, it was... It was very well written by a credible reporter. You know, who laid out all his dirty secret, secret, secrets. Gave us all the evidence that we needed. You know, but Sue Robinson's findings. You know. Are a bit confusing. And it, it's hard to really understand how she came to this conclusion and only handed him a six game suspension. You know, it was said that he engaged in unwanted touching that he knew it was inappropriate. So I find this incredibly uh, confusing and, and difficult to understand in her interpretation of what took place was, and she's and, and, yeah. And in her interpretation, of what took place, it was not violent. You know, so I, I'm I'm trying my hardest to wrap my head around the logic. You know, if his behavior was egregious, as you say it was, then why was he only suspended six games? Why is his forty-five million sign-in bonus untouched? Why does he get to keep all of the $45 million? Why is his $46 million salary for 2020 untouched? Why does he get to keep the $45.6 million? Remaining fully guaranteed, $184 million. Why doesn't he have to pay a fine? Uh, 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 excuse me. Why doesn't he have to pay a fine? Why doesn't he have to... You know, pay the consequences for his actions. For his behavior. Why does he get to keep all of the 884 million guaranteed? And, and the big one here, why does he only get a six game suspension? And I know I keep repeating that. But why does he only get a six game suspension? What he did was inappropriate. And once again, this was mishandled. It was not handled appropriately. You know, and Watson has been defiant. And instead of expressing any regret, the quarterback has, in effect, kept insisting that two dozen women in different massage sessions over time were lying. All of them can't possibly be lying. Not all of these women are liars. So I don't I don't buy into any of what he's trying to say. He can sit here, he could defend himself all he wants. I'm not going to support this man. To me, this man is low down. And I get it. A lot of people say he's a bright young man, that he had a lot of potential coming into the NFL, that he's a, a nice guy off the field. Well, let me tell you something. 
to these women, he's not that nice of a guy. These women see him as a sexual predator. To them, he is a sexual predator. To you, maybe he is this quote-unquote nice guy. But these are some severe transgressions. I mean, and the punishment handed down was not good enough. A six-game suspension? What a joke. You know, except that none of this is funny at all. I mean, this is this is a serious matter we're talking about. This is women who have been allegedly sexually assaulted. 25 female massage therapists who came forward with testimony in a civil in in civil lawsuits alleging sex Sexual misconduct by Watson during therapy sessions from 2020 to 2021 cannot be lying. I find it hard to believe one man when there are so many women that came forward. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, not ten, not eleven, not twelve. Not 13, not 14, not 15, not 16, not 17, not 18, not 19. Not 20, not 21, not 22, not 23, not 24, but 25. Now, I know all the cases are gone but one. There's still one case remaining. You know, but the NFL was pushing for a minimum one year suspension that should have been handed down if the league's conduct policy, again, if the league's conduct policy has any backbone or any respect for women. And as we see, and as we've seen in repeated cases, the NFL doesn't have respect for women. You know, the NFL has too many inconsistencies. You know, they have done a poor job in the way they handle domestic violence. And sexual assault. You know, so, I mean, it's not really anything new. And I would be very surprised if the NFL suspends them for a full season. I mean, the NFL gave the Cleveland Browns the easiest schedule up until week six when he returns. So, you know, the, there's a possibility that the Browns finish four and two until he gets back. Then once he gets back, they have a tough schedule. But the poor guy got a, got slapped on the wrist, you know, and a lot of people are going to disagree with me. You know, I, I'm getting, I'm getting little based I'm getting called out. I'm getting criticized for my take on this. And that's okay. That's okay. Because again, I mean, think of your daughter. Or your wife. Or or someone. or, Or a woman close to you. You know. But the league was willing to go no less than a 12 game suspension. And a sizable fine, you know, some reports put on at $8 million. You know, but to me, the six-game suspension is a guilty verdict against uh, Watson. It's, it's an indication the league believes he violated the personal conduct policy. You know, and... I mean, you know, it, it's clear to us now, though, that a six-game penalty suggests the league, or at least Robinson, the one who was handling this case, just didn't think the accusations were all that serious, sadly. You know, to me, 
when you hear the number of allegations and that you hear these multiple vi multiple women coming out, that's a repeated offender. You know, that's a repeated offender to me. Yes, one lawsuit was dropped. 20 of the remaining, 24 settled in June. Three of the last four unsettled cases settled Monday, leaving only one civil uh, suit still set to go, trial. You know, but that doesn't mean the allegations were false. You know, and and a lot of the people who's jumping to his defense are saying, well, what if these women just wanted to get paid? What if this was to get some money? You really think all these women are gonna go through so much stress and put themselves in a situation for some money? Really? Come on, people. You know, but I mean, you know, the damage to the dozen of women who stepped forward as victims, you know, he's done, he, I mean, he's done a lot of damage to, you know, the two dozen women who stepped forward as victims, you know, um, and he's done damage to his name and now he's going to try to do whatever to clear his name, but this will, this, this will follow him for the rest of his career. Um, it puts a stain, you know, on his image. I mean, you know, um. You know, and right about now, Deshaun Watson, man, he doesn't make it any better by not showing any remorse or any contrition. You know, he just doesn't. You know, his his egregious, uh, veiled behavior, um, you know, has been, um, you know, compounded by his lack of admission of wrongdoing. It really has. And now for him, there's no other way around it. It really isn't. You know, and he, he's, he's still going to get paid. It's not going to really hurt his pocket. He might deliver for Cleveland, sure. Cleveland, also, the Cleveland Browns. This is an organization that's guilty by association. Because they traded for him knowing that he had these allegations against him, knowing that he had civil lawsuits pending against him, and they still traded for this man, and they paid him in the in the midst of these civil lawsuits. They still paid this man, and now they're showing us that they had his back the entire time. They clearly had this man's back the entire time. It is okay to sexually assault women. It is okay to commit a heinous act. It is okay to hire 66 massage therapists and sexually assault them. I know we live in America and we are innocent until proven guilty. But there's just too many red flags here that can't be ignored. And either you're too ignorant to see it, you're too blinded by by it, and just don't want to see it. But I don't know I don't know what else to tell you. Like I said, you guys can criticize me all you want. That's really not going to change my position on it. Because this is where I stand with it. And I just can't support a human being like Deshaun Watson, and I'm not going to support him. I don't care how great of a quarterback he is. He may be great at what he does. He may have that skill set. He may be a damn good quarterback. But from the looks of it all, he's not that great of a person. I'll check you guys later. I'm out. Peace.